Hey girls, so today I just wanted to show you my jewelry collection, as you can tell by the title. Um, I just wanted to film the intro of it really quick and then you're just going to see me go through my jewelry collection. I don't have that much jewelry, I don't think. I typically like watches and that's what I spend and invest my money in and I typically wear my pearl earrings that my dad got me from Tiffany's like every single day so I don't really wear that much unless I'm going out but I like to accessorize with like arm candy and stuff like that but anyways yeah so I just thought I would film the intro to this video um most of my jewelry is purchased by myself or I will state differently and I hope you girls enjoyed this video most of my jewelry is pretty affordable and yeah leave a video response if you have a jewelry collection and I hope you girls enjoy this Okay, so first, before I get into my actual jewelry collection, I just wanted to show you this little drawer in my bathroom where I keep all of my watches and my most worn jewelry. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and more in-depth in it, but I just wanted to show you. This is where I keep all my watches, um, my six watches, some of my most worn rings. Okay, so I've taken out um, these little things from my... Um bathroom little drawer and these are just tops to the Michael Kors watch containers and the bottoms I the little case things I use actually to hold my makeup brushes in but I just wanted to show you that these are my watches I have the silver Michael Kors watch with the um the mother of pearl background and Savarsky crystal and then I have the gold Michael Kors watch which has Savorsky crystals as well. And then I have three rings in here, and this is also the one that I keep um, my pearl earrings in, my Tiffany pearl earrings in, when I'm not wearing them. And then I have this Sopata ring you've probably seen. It's just gold, I mean silver, and then it, this used to be gold, but it kind of wore off. And it just kind of, let me focus it, just kind of twirls. So, yeah, I like that ring a lot. And then I have this one ring that came from a Jewel Mint, a Yavez ring or something like that. I wear this a lot on my middle finger. I wear all these on my middle finger on my right hand. And I wear my watches on my left arm as well. So, yeah. And then this ring is just from Hawaii. And it's just got like the shell kind of background. And then in my other watches, I have a phosphor watch. It is 639 guys, hello. And it is just a white band with the rose gold face. And yeah, so these watches are really, really cool. The time can go away and then come back. They're really freaking cool. And then I have the first watch that I ever got, which was the white fossil watch that I barely wear anymore. But yeah, I have that. And then, oh, it's not going back on. Then I have the rose gold, I mean the um, chocolate gold Michael Kors watch. This is my latest purchase from Michael Kors. It's really, really heavy, and I really love that watch. I wear a lot of brown, so it goes with a lot of different things. And then I have my DKNY um, black ceramic watch that I absolutely love. So I also want to show you how they fit. So I have really teeny wrists. I like to wear them up high like I know most people like to wear them loose or something like that I like to wear my watches really up high now one thing I have to warn you about with this is that most watch it I mean most people when I get my watch size they're like that's way too high and you know the sodium in your skin will actually start to corrode the inside of the watch but for me I don't invest that much in my watches so I feel like in I and I switch my watches all the time so I feel like the odds of that happening are very slim and I also get my watches cleaned a lot so I don't really worry about that but yeah as you can tell um, I like wearing my watches up high so because I hate when it slides down and you like move your wrist up and it like ugh, I don't like that so that is how I wear my watches the next little thing I have is this Tiffany's bag I don't have Tiffany's in them actually I have these little um, studs that my mom got me and they're blue hold on let me they are my birthstone, and they're kind of like rectangular shaped. And she got these actually when we were in the Bahamas when I was probably like maybe 10 years old. And she kept the stones and made them earrings for me. So I thought that was really sweet. Um, I got them Christmas this year for Christmas. So I love them. They're a topaz. Um, so yeah, my birthstone. And that is that. And then in this little fossil um, tin, I keep a bunch of different things. So I have this... Lay they're mostly laying pieces. This is from American Eagle. This is from the BP section of Nordstrom's, and it's just a kind of corally with some um, chain link in between it. Then I have this, which is from, I believe, the BP section as well. I think, yeah. This is, oh no, this is from H&M. 
this is from H&M, which is a like a cream braided um, thing with gold detailing. And then I got this, which is from Target. It has rose gold little balls and um, like an army green rope. So that's that. <clears throat> then I got this really cool wrap around bracelet from H&M as well. And it just kind of is strange. It's gold and brown. And yeah, I like to layer it with that cream braided one that I have. So it looks like that. Wraps around your wrist a couple times. And those are really kind of cool. And then I got this little um, thing that you like make any size you want. I got this from Cotton On when I donated like a dollar to something. And they gave me these little bracelets. So I thought it was cute. And then I have this little charm bracelet from... Um, American Eagle as well. So yeah, it's just fun. A bunch of different charms. Then I have this bracelet that I made out of a necklace. Um, so you can't find it anywhere. It's just from American Eagle. Looks like that it has a little cross on it. And I wear this all the time. It wraps around my wrist and I love it. So that's that. Then I have a Hemsa bracelet with a little hand on it. It's red. Very cute. And I have this wraparound bracelet again from the BP section of Nordstrom's. Then I have this little birch box friendship bracelet from a birch box that I got, which I thought was cute. And then I think there's one other bracelet in here, and it is from the BP section of Nordstrom's. It's kind of got the chain on one side and this colorful, and it kind of wraps and turls around so you never know what you're going to get. So there's that. And then basically in there I just have some clips and some bra things and fun stuff like that. And then moving on, this is my actual jewelry um, little armoire. It sits next to my TV dresser. And then this is it. It's just a two little dresser drawer that I got from Ikea. Up top I have two jewel mint boxes right there, a phosphor watch box, my Tiffany's bag, and a little plant. And then look at this caricature. Isn't it really funny? I look so funny in it. But yeah, that's above my little jewelry thing. So Anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the first one and show you. A little dusty up there. Um, these are my necklaces. So, as you can tell, everything's just kind of a mess. Um, I will insert pictures at the end, but I'm just going to go ahead and give you an overview. Um, I have a bunch of different necklaces, and then in here are just random stuff. I'm not going to show you what's in there. They're just rings and stuff that I don't really wear all that much. These necklaces that are like guys' necklaces that I used to wear all the time when I worked at Hollister and Abercrombie. So, there's those. But I will take pictures of all of my necklaces individually and put those at the end. And then in the second drawer, I have bracelets and some earrings. Um, not anything crazy. Yeah, that's basically my jewelry collection. I don't have much at all. And yeah, so I will be inserting pictures at the end. I hope you girls enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye!